heavily vision-based system. Vision-based systems are becoming more popular as, as time progresses because uh, you can get a lot of information out of them. So with two cameras, you can get depth information, you can get 3D vision out of it. And uh, that solves a problem because underwater, you can't use other systems that are commonly used, used on land. Because water is so dense, light can't penetrate through it, so we can't do radar and lidar kind of things. Uh, so you need to either use optical or sonar. Sonar usually requires big transducers, uh, they're really big and they're very expensive. Vision systems usually give you enough information to be able to act accordingly. So you can use a very low cost, scalable vision system where you just implement more cameras and that will be able to give you the information that you need to navigate. Couple that with uh, some kind of smart tricks with uh, central inertial measurement units and, and GPS on the surface and then you can get pretty accurate resolution information uh, throughout the whole dive plan or, or mission. So the technology that we're developing is, is really important. In the future, the costs of, of cameras are going to go down. This intelligence systems are, are becoming prevalent everywhere. We're getting a lot of data. You've got to be able to manage your data efficiently and you've got to have some level of intelligence to be able to act according to it. This is relevant to any industry and this is one of the reasons why I'm interested in it. This same technology can be used to uh, map, let's say, oceans and different planets even. So, so something that you do not need to be able to communicate with efficiently. We need to know some information about something remote. Well, then we've got a system that is autonomous that you can bring, if you can get down to the bottom of Europa's surface, let's say the water, which would be really hard to do. But if you could, you'd, all you'd need is to have a smart system that can get some data and then to send it back. So, so this is just the beginning of, of something that's gonna be very important in the future. This is the second prototype for uh, the semi-autonomous vehicle for divers. Uh, its purpose is mainly to map its environment. And the mapping system that we're using is very machine vision based. Uh, the machine vision computer would go in the center. We have the battery pack right here, which is uh, interchangeable. So let's say if you want to, one battery pack should probably last you two dives, so about four hours. Uh, we've got air here. The air's purpose is uh, mainly for uh, the BCD. So if you want to keep this on the surface or if you want to descend, it just makes it easier and then you'll have spare air. 